Hello, my friends. I am a bear. My name is Rose. This is my sister Lily. We love each other because we are family. This is my friend Emily. We love each other because we are close friends. Did I take your attention? I think I did. What do you think about today's topic? Today's topic is use of puppets, masks, and action songs in ELT. Firstly, we will look at the use of puppets, then masks, and after that action songs in ELT. Let's begin with the definition of a puppet. A puppet is a movable model of a person or animal that is typically moved either by strings controlled from a bow or by a hand inside it. Its purpose is to motivate the students to create interest and to add sense of humor. What about principles? Puppets should be accompanied by short dialogues, shouldn't have so many characters, should put in short duration songs and dances, dances to heroic emotions, should be on eye contact with the students. Use of puppets. Puppets can be engaging and useful way to have students develop emotionally and grow their language and communication skills. Using puppets in education has many benefits, especially with language skills. Children can practice their oral speaking skills by telling a story to a puppet or explaining words or expressions. If the puppet is confused or doesn't understand something, the child can explain and show the puppet what he has learned. The puppet helps to uh, motivate students and involve them in the learning process. It creates an emotional relationship with students and adds a playful mood in the learning environment. Additionally, the puppet enables teachers to elaborate more on the topic they were covering, have more conversation with students and maintain positive behavior in the class. It develops feeling of security and confidence and um, helps them promote creative ability and uh, it promotes self-expression. Let's look at types of the puppets. Finger puppets. A simple finger puppet fits on a single finger and finger puppets have no moving parts. Hand puppets. Hand puppets are controlled by one hand uh, which occupy, occupies the interior of the puppet. Glove puppets. This is the thing I did. This is like a finger glove which fits on one hand and operates from blow by fingers. Shadow puppets. These are made of cardboard which produces shadows on a white screen. Road puppets. They are operated from blow the stage by a combination of rods and strings. String or marionette puppets. It consists of puppets with hinged body parts which are cont controlled by nine strings produced required movements in, in the puppet. Stick puppets. Uh, they are painted um, cardboard or paper and cutouts attached uh, by sticks. Uh, they are manipulated by the teacher and students uh, by hiding uh, behind a screen so that only puppets are visible to the class. So how can we use puppets in teaching? Puppets can sing songs, 
tell stories, count, help with phonics, and deliver learning across the whole curriculum. They are an excellent tool for developing listening and attention, phonics, and math skills and personal development. Let's look at some examples. Hold the puppet to share. Um, telling the puppet one thing they like about school or nursery. One child holds the puppet and says, um, I like painting. Then they pass it to the next person and they say, and they say something like, I love going outside. The puppet focuses their attention. They understand that it must be respected and only speak when you are holding it. Sound affects story. This is a great for children to enjoy exploring the sounds that instruments make, as well as developing their listening skills through storytelling. The idea of this is uh, that the puppet makes up a story. Either you can speak in a funny voice, or what I prefer to do uh, is the puppet whispers to you and you tell what the puppet has whispered. The children listening will each um, have an instrument. It can be any instrument really for this. It's, gre it's great for discriminating sounds. For example, tell a story but add action into the story that means the children can add sound effects. For example, it goes something like this. This is Dora the duck. Today was tiptoeing through the speak wood. The children make quiet tiptoe sounds. Suddenly, she heard a loud roar. Make loud Roaring sound. Whoa. She turned around and a dinosaur was stamping towards her. Stamp, 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 stamp. They make stamping noises. The next activity Dress the puppet. This is another fun blending game. Have a puppet and also have some clothes fit, uh, that fit the puppet. Sound one piece of clothing out and one child will have to put the piece of clothing on the puppet. For example, say, put the hat on the puppet. Hat. Put on the boot. Put skirt on the puppet. Mm, read the puppet a story. This is a lovely activity that children can either do in a group or by themselves. Children love to sit a puppet on their lap and uh, read them a story. Hmm. Just talking about the pictures or making it up is um, completely fine. It's great role reversal whereby the children become the parents and storytellers, the puppet, the child. Use of masks. Use of mask is a great way to show the body language rather than facial expressions and mimes. It focuses on the intonation and body movement. It is useful for shy students because they hide their faces. What about the use of action songs? Songs contribute to effective language and cognitive development and create opportunities in developing language skills without boredom. Let's act! Yeah!